I'm Natasha and this is Almost Vegan. Today's episode is about making almond milk. This channel is dedicated to all those almost vegans out there. So why do I say almost vegan? Well, I'm not vegan, not even vegetarian. But I like to talk about food, I like to eat, and I like to share nutrition tips. And I noticed that I was kind of um, boring the people around me and talking at nauseum about them. So I thought, why don't I make a channel and then the people who want to hear it can subscribe. So full disclosure, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a chef, I'm just a girl who likes to cook. So my philosophy on food is this, I think most of the food that we put into our bodies should be whole food, real food, not processed. Lots of fruit, lots of veggies, lots of whole grains, some lean meats if that's what you like. I still eat meat. I like meat. I don't think I'm giving it up anytime soon. But I'm really inspired by a lot of uh, vegan chefs. So a lot of my recipes will be inspired by some of those people. Okay, so the first thing you need to make your own nut milk is one cup of nuts. I like to do half almonds, half hazelnut because I like that flavor, but you can do cashews, you can do pus pistachio, you could do walnuts, you can do pecans. All nuts have different soaking times. For almonds, they're a tough nut with a tough skin. So these have to soak eight to 12 hours in lukewarm water at room temperature. Or you could do what I did, which is a quick soak. And uh, I soaked the almonds and the hazelnuts together with boiling water um, on the counter in a, a measuring cup for one hour, okay? You will need either uh, pure vanilla extract or vanilla bean. I really like the vanilla bean, but I don't always use it because it's expensive. You need a pinch of sea salt, some cinnamon, or if you like nutmeg, you can also include that. And for your liquid sweetener, you can have pure maple syrup, syrup or you can use a um, date, okay? You need three and a half cups water. If you like your nut milk really, really creamy, you can reduce that water just a little bit to maybe three and a half. If you like it um, a little bit lighter tasting, you can increase that water to four cups. And I'm gonna introduce you to the real, true love of my life right now. This bad boy. This is my Vitamix. I'm not gonna lie, it is an investment, but I love him so much. Uh, I mean, I worked with a Ninja before, a Magic Bullet, those work well too. But if you're really serious about um, nut milks and smoothies and sauces, uh, this is worth it. All right, so add your water, three and a half cups of water. Add your nut. I should probably tell you that after they're done soaking to rinse them. Okay. Half hazelnut, half almond. Yeah, we want to add the maple syrup or the date if that's what you're using for your sweetener or no sweetener. The pinch of salt, and I like a lot of cinnamon in mine, and actually I add more cinnamon after. And then because I'm using a vanilla bean, I have to scrape out this inside. And it's really concentrated and really delicious and really fragrant fragrant and I'm actually gonna save that pod okay and here we go one of the reasons I love the Vitamix so much is because of the the tamper okay so if you have a Vitamix you can use the the um, smoothie So this is a nut milk bag. You can purchase them, I believe, on Amazon and also at the Bulk Barn. That's where I got mine. They are reusable, so I just wash it when I'm done and I can reuse it. Um, if you don't have a nut um, milk bag, don't worry about it. Use some cheesecloth and a fine mesh um, sieve, and that works just as well. Okay, so now I blended this. It depends on your blender, but you want to blend your nut milk until it looks like most of the almonds are ground up really, really well. And then I'm going to pour it into my bag. And this acts as 
as um, almost like a colander. So you don't have to pour all of it at once. And it's going to drain through, and you can use a little drawstring if you want here. It's gonna drain through, and really what nut milk is, is it's not milk at all. It's soaked almonds in water. But it um, makes this beautiful, creamy milk. I like to heat it up and sometimes put a chai tea bag in it with a little bit of nutmeg and cinnamon on top. Or I use this a lot in my smoothies. Um, my daughter likes it with her granola or to dump cookies in. So there's many, many uses for this. And that's essentially all you have to do. That's it. All right, so this took about four minutes um, to go through the bag. It makes about four mason jars full. So you wanna make sure you have a sterilized mason jar. Just run it through the dishwasher, that's good enough. And that's how I store it. Um, I find that's the best way. Sometimes I bring it to work like this. Um, and if you want to add a little bit more cinnamon or a little bit more vanilla, you can because um, when you're straining it, some of it gets caught up in the, the pulp of the nuts. So I just like to add a little bit more cinnamon to mine. Now, homemade almond milk lasts about four to five days in your fridge. Um, if you find you're getting to the end of the five days and you haven't used it all up, I like to freeze it in ice cube trays and you can use it in uh, future smoothies. So some of you might be wondering why homemade almond milk? Why don't I just go to the store and buy some? Well, in my humble opinion, homemade almond milk is better and I'll give you a few reasons why. First of all, the stuff that you buy in the store is often filled with additives and thickeners, and they put those in there so the almond milk doesn't separate. Those additives and thickeners have zero nutritional value. Um, in homemade almond milk, you have water and you have your almonds and a little bit of natural flavoring. That's it, more nutrition. What kind of nutrition is in almonds? Well, you have your healthy fats, you have magnesium, you have fiber and you have vitamin E. Also, the store-bought almond milks, you're paying a lot of money for a lot of water and a little bit of nut. They don't have a high nut to water ratio, whereas in homemade almond milk, there's a lot of nuts. There's one cup, so that's a lot of nutrition. Um, the other reason why I like homemade is because you can customize it. You can put in your flavorings. If you like turmeric or cinnamon or nutmeg or maple syrup or date, you can throw those in and you can customize it. You can also customize your nuts. You can do three quarter hazelnut, a quarter cashew, whatever flavor you like. And the last reason why I think homemade is better is because um, it's easy. It's really easy. It doesn't take long at all. And once you get really used to it, it becomes quicker and quicker. So those are the reasons why I think homemade is better. I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.